Hi, I'm Oz Ben Amram, Chief Knowledge Officer at White & Case. White & Case is a relatively large firm with 40-something offices and, uh, and we mainly represent clients in complex uh, cross-border work. Uh, I oversee the Knowledge Department, which is 185 people, uh, and some of the professional support lawyers, those are the lawyers who make the other lawyers look smart. Uh, some of them are researchers, those that make the other lawyers look efficient. Uh, and then we have the information governance, uh, e-discovery, litigation support, and uh, knowledge systems. People get to my job either by a drive for efficiency or drive or hate of risk. Uh, usually we meet in the middle because doing things consistently better helps both the efficient side and the risk side. Uh, and in addition to saving time, I think what we do most is we take away anxiety from the lawyers and from the clients because we bring transparency to the way people work and how they do things. Uh, and we make it faster and better uh, when we put those systems and, and processes in place. Uh, my first lesson when I started, I, I used to litigate in Israel. I did securities work here. And then 2002, I was at MOFO and I switched to, to start the knowledge department. And I had a friend at Bain and he said, come meet a real knowledge management organization because in law firms at the time, there wasn't much. So I met the CKO at Bain uh, and he told me, I have the best knowledge management system in the world and it's my biggest mistake. I said, it's like, what's, what's here? And he said, every time I have a new idea, I have to open the checkbooks. Uh, and I basically have a software company for one client. So that was a good, it sat in the back of the end, uh, the back of my mind. And I decided I'm still going to do it my own because I had this great idea of how we can do it at MOFO. And I came to the management committee and I said, this is what we need to do. So we love this. What do you need? I said, I need five people, a million bucks and three years. And the answer was, you've got the three years, right? <laughs> uh, uh, which forced us to work with vendors on doing that, which was a great thing for us in, in retrospect. Uh, we worked with it at the time with Recomind, that Derek Sharon is here who, who started that. Uh, it was a great partner and worked, but the idea was instead of trying to do it ourselves, uh, let's just, as a market, use some market standards. And then we're all going to benefit. The way we write code, I have a secret, great code writers don't come to work for law firms. Uh, so we should not try to solve it ourselves. We really try to work together with us. That was lesson number one. Don't build it, buy it, and collaborate with others. Uh, have no secrets. It's really about the implementation, about change management that Lucy touched on. And, and change in law firms is hard double because change is hard, we know that. But lawyers in legal department or in law firm were trained all their lives to reduce risk. Right? This is what our expertise, client come to us for safety. And if you're trying to take this group of people who were trained all these years, were attracted to a profession that has to do with removing risk, are not a great risk takers. So it's double, and at the end of the day, they're also making a lot of money. So whatever they're doing works pretty well. So trying to get people to get to the other end of doing it better, uh, the change management campaign was a very hard uh, way to go. And sometimes you get people who really get it on the spot and don't need to try to convince anyone. Uh, but usually we're trying to change the process. Uh, I remember when I was a wallet mofo and I had the head of the corporate department was a great guy. And we said, this is what we're going to do. It's going to make it so much more efficient. So, uh, let me understand. You ask me to pay money to receive less money. The business model is, is not working for me. And it was a very hard challenge. Thank God now we are after the great uh, recession and nobody needs to explain anymore why efficiency is good. Clients demand it, associates demand it, right? I mean, once we take all those less exciting work away from associates, they get to do the more exciting work and they enjoy their life much better. I don't know many people who love doing a discovery, right? Uh, and then machines came and did it instead, right? So you do some of it and you become really good and you know how to ask the question, you know how to spot what matters and you become an expert and you bring real value. Uh, and that's the, the second lesson was don't try to fight it. Uh, it happens because it makes sense. Clearly clients, general counsels are the main demand uh, who demand it from our partners. Now I must say most of you general counsels are a little confusing us sometimes because you all ask us to be innovative. Uh, but I don't think you want us to be innovative, right? You come to us for reducing risk, right? Innovation means failure. You cannot innovate without failing. 
Unless you're playing really safe and you're just copycating someone else. And they're just doing best practices. That's not innovative. So I think you need to explain better what is innovation when you come to us. Sometimes it's changing the way we operate and, and, and putting, getting closer to you and bringing more value. I think you're asking for more value. I think you're asking for efficiency, uh, which is clearly what you need. Just, I think, stay away from the innovation part because it's very vague, and I don't think it's absolutely accurate to what you're trying to do, uh, what you want us to do. Uh, time? Uh, the other thing that we are starting to realize is that we didn't have the right talent uh, at, at Law Firm. Uh, we now have a team of five dedicated AI, uh, practice technology, client-facing team to work with our clients and with our lawyers to make sure we have the right thing. It took us a while to get there. We thought that other people can do it at the same time as they do other things, like uh, in Bain and other places. So now we do have a dedicated team uh, because we, to do it right, you need to boil the ocean. You need to really figure out what's out there, what works, what doesn't work. It takes a lot of experimental, a lot of proof of concepts, uh, or maybe just elimination before. So we didn't have the team, now we do. Uh, we didn't have the focus. It was whoever was uh, screaming loudest got our attention. Uh, so putting a process around deciding what we're going to test and how we're going to test and who we're going to work with, uh, which client is asking, is that client keep on asking every time but then doesn't come up with a lot of work to support that or is that really a client that will take us farther? So really be strategic about uh, the practices that really a replicated process that we could really shave hundreds of hours from the process if we do it, or if it's just a small group that just do a few things. So we, we became a little more strategic on the way we do that. Uh, some of you asked before, what is AI? Uh, I think AI is what computers couldn't do yesterday, but they're about to be able to do today. Uh, something that human unit needed to do it before, but now we could use computer, was about to start using computer. And I think it's only going to come more and more, because whatever computers can do, computers will do. Right? We know that it's the things that are not as exciting for the lawyers and computers, once they master it, we're always going to do it way better than we do. Right? Faster, cheaper. Uh, there's a great movie, Fast, Cheap and Out of Control. Uh, it's worth uh, watching. I, I don't think we're heading towards out of control yet, but it's definitely becoming faster and cheaper there. Uh, and we will be in the process of continuing to look at what is transferable to machines. Right? That the team of five that I talk about, they probably will double in the next couple of years. Uh, their job is really to figure out what can we do it and how can we do it in the less distracted way for our lawyers and our clients. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.